What's cracking, gang? Top of the day, man. Top of the day to y'all out there, man. Look, and if you here with me right now at this video right here, I'm sure this is the third video for today, my nigga, for the 13th of December in 2021, gang. And if you here, my nigga, it was meant. This right here is meant for you to hear. It is. Because you wouldn't be here. This right here is meant for you to hear. You wouldn't be here, gang. You wouldn't. It ain't no other way around it. You know what I'm saying? He ran you right into this little vid just so you can watch Peep, check it out, whatever the case is. But notice, man, that shit, it feel like this shit get worse out here. We living in them times. That's what it feel like. It feel like we living in them times. We got to learn to learn to turn when the tables turn, gang. Okay? A lot of you niggas ain't turning when the tables turn out there. Y'all stuck in a position you was placed in or in a position you got yourself in. Look, this shit right here was meant for you to hear, gang. Understand that you ain't gonna understand everything out here on this blacktop. Understand you ain't gonna understand everybody you dealing with. You gotta know that. And right now, I'm just, shit, I like to load up my phone. Sometimes I like to drop from both of them. I ain't gonna lie to you, gang. But understand that, though. Understand, like, you ain't, everything you ain't gonna understand out here, my nigga. Everything that's put in your face that's in a human's eye view, you ain't going to understand. We ain't going to understand. I don't even understand. So you got to understand this. You know that God works in mysterious ways. And he makes no mistakes, nigga. Not at all. He makes no mistakes. That right there starting yourself with your faith and your belief. What you believe in, you know. That's, the, that's how I look at it. Some of you niggas don't believe enough. Some of you niggas don't believe in yourself enough. We here, we here to change that. It's niggas like me out here to change that. Niggas like Nina Boy out here to change that. Steer a different narrative in you niggas. Terrence the Great. It's niggas like that out here to change that. You feel me? It's people out here like that, man. You know what I'm saying? We got some wise men out here, man. Low key that I've been dealing with, fluctuating with, you know what I'm saying? Only the last past one month or two and shit been copacetic. Shit been good. Jews has been received, my nigga, on my end from all the motherfuckers I deal with and fuck with, gang. Whether it's virtually, whether it's physically, whether it's face to face, you know? Whether it's anything. Over the book. Hey, excuse me, my nigga. Yes, I gotta clean this motherfucker. Yeah. Got to. Some of you niggas have tried to judge a nigga. Oh, he digging in his dogs. Nigga, I got the tissue. Shut your weak ass up. At the end of the day. You know, we got to we gotta acknowledge that. A lot of shit out here on this black top, we ain't going to be able to understand. A lot of places we ain't going to be able to go. A lot of things we ain't going to be able to see in other ways that other people see it. You know, it's only meant for us to see it in a way that God planned us to see it, nigga. And you got to see it for that. On this black top, you niggas can't try to skin. You know what I'm saying? Uh, a llama out of orange. You niggas can't try to... Uh, they tell you it's a million ways to skin a cat. But... If the Lord showed you it's only 70 ways, you got to sit back and believe that then. Don't try to make 71 ways because now you're trying to play God. And that's what it would be. you trying to play God. You can't do that. You know, that's why this right here, this was meant for you to hear. Might not have been meant for your sister or your auntie, your grandma now. You know, it might might not have been, might been meant just for you to hear At the end of the day, gang, you got to pay attention to your calling. You got to know your position out here on this blacktop. You got to know your role. You got to know when to be at the right place at the right time. You got to know when not to be at the right place at the right time. I mean, at the wrong place at the wrong time. It's a season for everything. Go double check your Bible. It's a season. It's a time and place for everything. A lot of times, it don't be no season or place for that bullshit you be putting out here. So now you got to dig intricately deep in yourself to pull out that special part of you, nigga. What makes you you? What make a motherfucker want to sit back, listen to you, chop it up with you? What makes you unique? You got to sit back and you got to figure that out, gang. That's where this shit, this, that's where this going at, you know? That's that's how it's, it's being played out out here on this black top, you know? At the end of the day, man, I don't like seeing nobody lose their motherfucking soul, their spirit. 
they sanity, they everything behind being misled by the wrong people, the wrong team, the wrong crowd. Some of you cats is out here being misled by the wrong people, the team, and the wrong crowd game. It gets no better for you, nigga. And I don't think you trying to make it no better either. You just making more excuses. You know, that's making you a poor excuse of a man at the end of the day. You got to figure out what's your role out here on this blacktop. What's your role in this picture? See, we all in the same picture, but we got different poses, my nigga. Yeah, you better believe that. We all are in the same picture, but we got different poses. So, knowing you got a different pose, you got to understand how your pose operate. You got to understand the fundamentals of your pose within this picture so it can work like a panoramic picture. Like a widescreen flick, like this shit gotta work, you know. Some of y'all don't give it a chance to, you know. God be giving you that that opportunity, my nigga, and you'll blow it off. You blow it off. For what I don't know. End of the day. I never blow off the opportunity that the man upstairs give me. I recognize it when I wake up. The moment you wake up, my nigga, on this black top, you, that's the opportunity he gave you. You better recognize that, nigga. He gave you another day to wake up. He gave you another chance to change, my nigga. Some of y'all don't peep that. Some of y'all don't understand that. He giving you another chance and an opportunity to change. So, obviously, that shows you he's a forgiving God because you could have committed a murder yesterday. He could have got you. Nigga, everything could have went sour. I'm not saying he just controlled everything. God is the ruler of all things. But I'm just saying, my nigga, the devil be operating out here, too. You know, the devil operate out here, too. It's a story about that in the Bible when the devil was trying to test one of God, um, one of God's uh, uh, strongest believers. I don't know if it was Job. I don't want to quote it wrong. But, you know, uh, dude lost his wife, his kids, everything. And he still held on to the faith in God. He did. He held on to the faith in God. And at the end of the day. God bless that man with multiples of everything. You feel me? You got to actually stick in it, my nigga. You got to stay down for the come up on this black top. You feel me? You got to stay down for the come up on this black top. You can't start uh, uh, spilling paint where it ain't. Like my nigga Nina Boy say, oh, God, you can't know. He right about that when he say that. That's why I like when that nigga say that. Because you can't, you can't put the paint where it ain't. Once you get to doing that, my nigga, you going against the cold. A life, you going against the code, you going against the DNA code, you going against the code of how this shit was made to happen, how it was already pre designed to happen. You can't do that, you see. Real life, real life. And when niggas get to doing that, they, they cross themselves out, you know. I may be wrong if I'm wrong, tell me in the comments, but this just off my experience. Alone, so at the end of the day, know where you stand in life. This right here, this conversation, this video was meant for you to hear. Definitely, if you ran across it and you listen, it's still gang. Know where you stand in life. It took me a while to understand where I stand in life, and I'm still learning. I ain't got everything down packed. None of us do, gang. We still learn. My nigga, if you had some intricate information, would you pass it along to me? Would you give me the key? You know what I'm saying? To that golden mansion so I can walk in and pick out the golden things I want. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, so I can go back to my muddy life and live good and great. That's that's really helping a nigga right there. That's really helping a nigga. You feel me? You gave me that key to that golden mansion. You showed me the ways through it, too. You didn't let me get lost in here. You let me come in here and shop out the things I really needed to succeed in my muddy life. And when I say muddy, I don't mean drink, gang. I mean for the for the for that one acronym we always talking about that uh get it out the mud, yeah. That's what I mean, you know. For being back in a poor life. So at the end of the day, it's like this. When niggas give you that, when niggas get that intricate with you and they drop them type of juice on you, my nigga, you better believe those are the people that you want around you. Them no motherfuckers who ain't judging you for what you got and don't got. Them the people who ain't really riding your coattail for how you misbehaving or how you pronouncing shit wrong or whatever the case may be. Them the people who are actually trying to correct you on that and help you along the way and not downplaying you and downing you, gang. Because there's too much of that going on out here. Ain't nobody uplifting nobody, gang. It's too much downing, you know. 
So at the end of the day, you know, hey, and then again, you can't even you can't even be uplifting no unworthy nigga anyway though. There's some unworthy people out here who don't even supposed to be uplifted. You you curse yourself uplifting them. You curse yourself uplifting them. You fuck around and 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 dodge your blessings and miss your blessings. Trying to help this motherfucker who was unworthy. He already cursed himself. He canceled. You can't come along and try to bump his strata for him and help this nigga. It's over. It's over. Y'all gotta pay attention to that too, gang. This shit get real. It's, 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 it's intricate like that, though. And I know a lot of you motherfuckers don't be want to hear this shit, but at the end of the day, what the fuck you gonna hear once all you, once you tired of hearing negative, or once uh, the negativity hits so far home that it take away one of your people, you gonna be tired of hearing that shit. Take away one of your closest loved ones that you really fuck with. Moms or one of your kids or something. You really go, you gonna, you gonna be tired of that shit. Then you gonna wanna cross over to the positive side. So you can't straddle the fence somewhere down the line, you know, along the lines in your life. You gotta know when when you ready to get it together. He ain't gonna wait on you. He ain't. It's all time waits on no man, so. With that being said, nigga, you already know what up. I'm just saying, man. Think about it, dog. To the next video, though. Corner starter is out, man.